so that's that's normally the. You always get some funny old <laughs> I know this is normally the rubbish, but I don't know. So guys, welcome back. Welcome back to episode three with the Audi A3. It's back. Yep. It's back again. Actually been a year ago. Is it? A year. A year. A year since it was last year. Uh, Actually the most popular like... car on the channel, I'd be honest. Well, that and the Angler. That's, I know, debatable the Angler is up there. <laughs> but guys, we do have plenty of updates coming. Big one from this weekend, but on which, like we said, a year ago. Unbelievably, we're, we're talking about so after the exhaust was done at the back, we're looking at getting some dechroming done. Which, guys, yes. it happened, it's, it's happened, it's happened. So, that, the front grill, what's up to front grill? Uh, the shells, oh my god, this is so icy. This will be a, a good one for you. <laughs> um, so, it was just the, the shells either side and then the, the grill, the front, and then we also got. Intense. It was a, uh, I can't, I don't know the exact percentage, but it was a lot dark in the back all of a sudden it is the front. It uh, does look so good, Ron. Also, oh, oh my god. Oh yes, and the, the private plate. plate. You've got this private plate on. And the badges are off, guys, so. The badges are off, yes. The S3 look is well and truly here. So, like I say, a long time ago and it's took to now until the next mod, yeah? Yep, yeah, it's took to now. I finally fit the bullet and decided I wanted a bit more power. Oh. Excellent. So yeah, so stage one tune run. So how, how are these? How do these sit as standard? Well, standard. The one I've got is a one four turbo. So you're looking at about one forty seven brake uh, and about two hundred and fifty newton meters of torque. So pretty, just pretty standard, really. Well, which is actually decent. Two hundred and fifty newton meters sounds quite a lot to me. For a pe for a petrol, it's not bad. Um, for a petrol, it's not too bad. But Genuinely think, guys, still, <laughs> I always go back to the Mark IV Golf, one eight turbo petrol car, one hundred and fifty horsepower, makes the same power as as Ron's car does as standard. Uh, so we'll nick across the eco tune and. See how we go and looking at that 150 brake roughly standard, yeah. Should be. Right, good. And here we are guys, arrived at EcoTune. It's been a long time since I've been here, but have been coming since back at the B Tap days, if anyone can remember. Here is the Audi strapped down. So first off we're going to be getting the standard performance figures, but look at this for a setup round here. Really nice waiting room, and then you can have a wee peek through to see what the guys are doing through in the rolling road and I do remember this coming up to Crail and running 10s easily look at Stan's old car 2.7 to 60 in the RS6 I had to sneak round the back to have a wee look at Roberto's RS3 8 second car road legal don't know if it's the quickest still in Europe but Still, what a machine this is. And I'm annoyed because the camera isn't doing this sound justice, but this is the stage one software going on and been very quick and very successful. like usual we've obviously filmed this after the event <laughs> so here we are in the car now with the remap on it yep it's on go and give us a wee feel run <laughs> that, that's crazy it's not bad it is not bad that you can definitely <laughs> notice a difference <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> Obviously Mexican roads here trips. <laughs> wow. Does it feel way better though, yeah? Oh it does, <laughs> it does. <laughs> it 
<laughs> that's really torquey, is it? That is. That is not bad. It is not really torquey. <laughs> that's crazy fast. <laughs> Guys, honestly, that is super quick feeling. It's not. It feels so much different. I can't. I don't fully understand how it feels that much different, <laughs> but it does. Uh, obviously not a. Not a world beater by any means, but... Right, come on, we'll go and get a look at the graphs. Yes, we'll get a look at the graphs. <laughs> That's sound good. Right. So it was actually a good experience yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Very professional outfit. Yep. Now we haven't actually remembered the printouts of the graph, but we do have them on the phone. We've got so. them on the phone. Right guys, so here's the graphs, like we say. So we're looking standard red line, yeah. Standard is a red line. Blue and, is the, the and remote. Modes are modded. So standard power one five one, was it? Yeah. One five one. So up a wee bit from standard, which I was surprised at, but that's probably something to do something to do with the, the air filter and the the exhaust as well. And, and on the remap figures, so exactly what we're looking for, 20 brake horsepower increase. Yep. And how much torque that as well? So, torque standard was one day 207, uh, and that's pound foot. And then the remap is 232. So we've done a wee conversion there, uh, and in newton meters, that is just shy of 320 newton meters of torque. To me, that sounds like loads. I know. It does feel like loads. It is. Well, we were, I was talking to a few of my pals, and uh, one of them's got a Fiesta ST, and I always kind of seen that as quite a fast car. And that's what he's got, that's what he said he had standard, so. It is not bad. Oh, just soap there, guys. <laughs> Absolutely soap. Um, so, yeah, really quite chuffed with that, to be honest. Guys, I hope you liked that one. Really impressed with young Ronnie's car. He's done loads of nice mods on it, very tasteful. I think that stage one tune has massively transformed it, to be honest. Great work from the guys at EcoTune. And yeah, guys, I think we'll be back to a show one just shortly before we get involved with the, the Skyline in Anglia, but people seem to prefer that car anyway, so hope you enjoy it. Cheers. <laughs>